I should probably get chat up. Okay. Got my breakfast on hand. On my way. Oh God. Okay. Really, guys. Morning, Papa. Oh, thank God, I thought it was gonna be the- Okay, jump the gun. Wiretapping? Who- Know who did it? Who knows? Could be court- Could be my ex-wife's lawyer. Okay, okay, I swear to God, sir, you keep on talking about- Look, if I can say all this while you change your voice, I think we're pretty much on my own start now. Get off my dick. Excuse me. Did you say corporate espionage and wiretapping? Also, my TV is super loud for some reason. I should turn it down. There we go. Uh, yes, that's right. 
Our company is currently in crisis mode. Turns out confidentiality information's been... Oh, confidential information's been leaked to our competitors. Does that... Yeah. Actually, we found one by pure accident. Then we hire a detective to sweep the building, and he finds five more. Happening all over EG show lately. Everyone is talking about it on Shatter. Well, Ben and Elon Musk. Some corrupt detective willing to do all sorts of shady mm. things. Really now? A corrupt detective's in town, huh? Maybe I should look into this crooked competition. What does the Buzz researcher have to say? Hacking information! Here we go. Anywho, anyone else feel like they're gonna be excited for June? I'm excited for June, most because the week I get paid, your boy gets to get uh, the quarry. Normally I wouldn't be super amped up for it, but uh, my partner's been really talking to me about the game so heavily and they want they want to stream it where I'm just like you know what I'm gonna do for her I'm gonna get the game myself and give it an honest try and stay down cuz I want to be good I want to find ways to make it here. and who knows maybe I'll actually like the game I didn't like until dawn but that's because I found it a Completely cheesed as hell. Bitch, do not look behind you. Excuse Get your me. shit. Arigato. Yo, hanky shit. And you give me a four leaf. So this is where they found that wiretapper? Already quite a crowd here. Enough is enough! As I've already told you, I'm here to locate them, not plant them. Oh, I know, that's... that's Sukumo. As I've already told you, I'm here to locate them, not plant them. Mm -hmm. That sounds like... I'm Detective. From... A 99. I picked up a wiretap signal here, so I came to sweep for it. You're a detective? Who hired you? Uh... Well, detectives have a strict code of client confidentiality. But I admit this wasn't an official case, but more my own curiosity, so... Your curiosity... Yeah, that sounds like... The likely cover story for a serial bugger, like people who've been complain, like people have been complaining about. Also, you kind of look like one of those nerds, anyway. So, uh, what's the real story here, you hacker nerd? I just told you I'm a detective. A likely story. We all know nerds can't be detectives. And you definitely look like a nerd. Well... Oh dear. I knew I should have gotten the the less nerdy jacket. I mean, the rest of me is fine, but it's this ch Huh? Uh-oh. Sigmo's about to get pinched. 
Hey! Sukumo. Yagamishi! Huh? Ah! What timing, Yagamishi? I could really use your backup. Do you have a backup jacket? The security guy is accusing me of plaguing the town with bugs. I don't even have any bugs. You know this guy? Yep. Yeah, we've been friends for a long time. Just as he said, he's a detective. And he's definitely not the kind of resort to such shady jobs. Maybe shady anime sculpture deals, but that's beside the point. Hey, there's nothing wrong with getting a Hatsune Miku statue there, Yagamishi. It's kind of bad when we make it life-sized. I thought, it, I thought we agreed not to talk about that in public. I'm not so sure I should be trusting you either. You look like a damn hippie. I'm paying tax worker. A likely story, hippie. Not trustworthy, huh? Quick flash of this should take care of it. <sighs> my name is Takayuki Yagami. I'm a lawyer. If you're going to treat my friend like a criminal without any proof, this badge might have to come into play at some point. And trust me, I am not like most lawyers. I'll kick your face in and take you to court. Eh? You're a lawyer? But your hair, and the way you dress. <laughs> well, if a lawyer is vouching for him, then I don't see a problem here. Oh my god, is that what you really sound like? Only when I've been standing here and I don't have any liquid in my throat. Sorry about that. Have a good day. Well, we're out of here. Let me go some water. I owe you one. My... Well, thank you for the assist, Yagamishi. Truly, you rescued me in the nick of time. Hey. What was all that about, anyway? That wasn't the first time I've heard of wiretapping causing a fuss around here. Indeed. Supposedly, there's a detective in Ijicho who's been offering his services for a wide variety of illegal purposes. I'm talking getting people all kinds of stuff without NordVPN or Surfshark. The greatest services to use to cut and try and bypass to where no one has your uh, VPN pretty much on display. And with it, with a small login fee of... I'm not sponsored by NordVPN or Surfshark. What am I doing? I am the worst, but I'm trying to be funny. Maybe not ha ha funny, but... Mind if I... Uh, do you guys mind if I pause to eat more of my breakfast real quick? I'm starving. Mmm. Wow, I actually know how to... Damn. Hmm? Yeah, I heard something about a corrupt detective earlier. So he's the wiretap that security guard was sure. hoping to catch? Presumably so. This individual performs such rather unsavory duties for clients, assisting stalkers and loan sharks in finding their targets, for example. Hmm.
this guy sounds awful. Any legit detective would turn those clients down. I wholly agree. The notion of allowing this man to tarnish the title of detective does not sit well with me. Hence, I was driven to the field to investigate. <laughs> but I just wound up being accused of uh, performing the deed I was attempting to stop. Mm, goodness, whatever can I do? <laughs> Maybe try cutting out the sly grins and... Conspiratorial giggles when you're on the job. Hmm. Hmm. I can't. I can't stop grinning when dealing with such fascinating subjects. Oh, how about instead I have you continue the investigation for me? You can use this to track clandestine signals invented by yours truly. Huh? Huh? You want me to do it? <laughs> yeah! It appears I am destined to spread across the suspicious individual. But you certainly have no worries of that. Huh. Oh, I don't know about that. I certainly do. Oh god, I'm starting to get hiccups. You've got an ace up your sleeve. An attorney's badge you can flash in a pinch. So, that being said, please take this with you. We get more technology. We got a detective. You said this thing picks up clandestine signals? Precisely. It can detect anything emitting a suspicious signal from up to a few tens of meters away. Bugs, spy cams, some people making a podcast, the, the lack of that accord. There's a signal coming from behind this building. Perhaps you should look for its gotcha. source. All right, behind the building. Got it. We'll give it a try. There you go. Carefully looking. This is gonna be a boring piece, I'm not gonna lie. Face but it's. Way. Oh. Oh. Bumming into people. Signal's weak. Oh shit. Haha, <laughs> bitch! This car is giving off a weird, weird signal. Huh? Hmm. Perhaps a bug of some sort has been planted in the car? Hmm? Interested in my car, are you? Excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm Takuyuki Yagami, a detective. Oh, a real-life detective, you say? I'm Motoyag Ogami. I'm a prosecutor. Huh. Oh, so you're a public prosecutor. To 
be honest, I've loved mysteries since I was little. I'm also a huge fan of Alan Rickman. May he rest in peace. Detectives are so fascinating. I never thought I'd actually meet one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? Well, Mr. Detective, what business do you have with my car? Ah, you want a case? Is there a mystery here right now? Am I going to be on television? Well, there seems to be a series of illicit snooping activities going on around town lately, so I'm looking into the matter. And for some reason, your car is emitting a rather strange signal. Oh? Do you think my car is bugged? I mean, all I do is play a lot of, um, random music. Like, I'll play NF, or I'll be playing Isla. Sometimes I'll be playing some Halsey or Blizzo. Nothing really spectacular. That depends. Do you ever have conversations in there that you wouldn't want others to hear? Not really. I just kind of jam. It's been a long day. You know how it is. Oh yeah, I do. But still, can you ask the question? Yes, I guess certainly. Discussing the day's upcoming trials with my secretary and such, but you know, that's just being good at your job. Could, could there be a reason someone would want to bug my car other than to get my sweet jams? Yep. It is possible. May I search it for you? By all means. I need to stop ad-libbing and just play the game. The signal's coming from the stuffed animal. It really was in his car. Oh, got me, son. I think I found the source of the signal. That, that's... Masuyami-kuns. Oh, Masuyama-kuns. Hmm? I think I said Masuyama. Huh? Who was that lady? It's my secretary. Masuyamaku. Huh? Oh crap. Damn it! You shall pay for your part in this sordid crime. Out of my way, nerd! I take kickboxing classes every week. I'm serious. <laughs> and I am Makoto Tsukumo, master of the Yagami style, and I shall not hold back, even against a lady as yourself. <laughs> oh, wow, you know Kung Fu? Just my luck. Oh, excellent bluff, Tsukumo. You're really getting good at that. Your form was perfect. <laughs> I've seen you fight enough times. Look of it to rub off, at least. Alright, Masuyama-san. Let's hear it. I get money! What's the meaning of this, Masuyama-kun? I'm sorry, I've, um, I've been paid off. What? By whom? Was it that one defender's lawyer? Was one defendant's lawyer? Yes, he claimed to be working for them. He said he's a detective. A detective in this neck of the wood. Hmm. Probably the villainous detective who's going to talk of the town. Could you describe this person? I, I don't know what he looks like. We only talked over the phone. He didn't video chat with me. 
What about his voice or sp speaking mannerisms then? Any detectable dialect? Uh, I'm not sure. He was really quiet and kept his speaking to a minimum. I do think he's a male though. Did you record the conversation? No, I was instructed not to. Damn. If only we had such some sort of evidence we could use. Excuse me. Did you happen to Did he happen to give you his name? No, but he said he runs the illegal detective agency. Wow. Pretty brazen approach. And beat around the but uh, the bush, does he? Bribery, Masuyama kun. How could you do this? You were the chosen one. You were supposed to bring order and balance to the legal system. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I make the stupidest fucking jokes. What is wrong with me? Once he offered me three million, I couldn't help myself. Heaven help me. What am I to do with you? Nice work. We even got compensated for our efforts. <sighs> that Masuyama girl is definitely getting canned, if not jail time on top of it. Well, she certainly could have thought of that before she bugged her boss. Wow, who would have guessed we'd learn about a corrupt detective in town? We didn't find the guy, but he seems busy enough that we'll probably get another crack at him. Yep. I agree, Ijicho seems to be suffering the strangest plague of illicit spying. And I believe my handy dandy detector could serve as the perfect antidote to this plague. In other words, are you suggesting we comb through the whole city for bugs with this thing? Mm. Sounds like an awful lot of unpaid w In that case, we should try consulting the buzz researcher first to help pinpoint where you ought to search. Anything that gives off strong signals, such as wireless bugs and spy cams, are prone to cause interference. Televisions and phones all suffer from some sort of noise when in the vicinity of covert broadcasting devices. Oh. Ah, interesting. So if I filter for noise or something along those lines, there's a chance I could track down a bug wherever the posts are appearing. Indeed, there's a real possibility that there are victims on the other ends of those bugs and spy cams. I see. Makes sense. Okay, I'll give it a try soon. <laughs> Best of luck. As upstanding detectives, it's our duty to take down these villainous investigate this villainous investigator. I thought he was trying to say there were multiple. God, I, I am. Maybe I shouldn't. Go I am just not all there mentally. This is not what I want. This is not what I planned. And I just got to say, I do not understand. Something is really, something's not really wrong. 
home And we gotta get things back to where they belong We can do it Where the fuck did that song come from in my dome? I swear. Every day I get a little bit crazed and a little bit older. Suck it, bitch! Delinquents! Dumb bitch! <laughs> really, guys? I love this game. What a waste. Some days I wonder if me just trying to Jesus Christ. And this game is also being combated by me trying to wake myself up. But sometimes I just wake up and I'm like, maybe I'm going to be a little bit less wacky. Not because I don't know how to make any more jokes, but because... And I feel like anyone that ever streamed is going to really understand nice. this. Like, you wake up and you're not bored. You're just extremely exhausted trying to piece yourself together, so you're just trying to enjoy the game a little bit more than normal. And by doing it, you kind of just are in a vibe state. You're not trying to do too, too much. You're just trying to wake up by enjoying the game at your own pace and start making jokes later on. I feel like anyone that's ever streamed knows what I'm talking about. What a waste. I wonder what I could because now I'm also thinking about doing something for my significant other.
stretchy rabbit. Oh god, now I'm just thinking about that one story that my partner told me about where um, some girl apparently thought that um, a prophylactic was uh, <laughs> but just reminds me of the story about what my partner where she said she met a girl that thought a prophylactic was a piece of gum like the stretchy rubber reminded me of that story where I'm just like someone legitimately thought that a prophylactic was gum. Just being like, is that a piece of gum? And the guy with the prophylactic in his hand is then just approach where it's like, the hell? But I'm trying not to inoculate you. And then she's like, you're not gonna inoculate me? That's not how it works. Also, for anyone that's gonna be like, V, what the hell are you talking about? What are all of these medical terms you're using? Just, just be gratuitous. I'm, I'm trying something new. I'm trying to be less grotesque for the first hour. Okay? I'm trying something new here. But I'm trying not to be over at Lindelton. So Twitch will be nice to me again. I'm starving. Teriyaki and egg, bitch. Pretty tasty, thanks. Arigatou Wait, that had alcohol in it? Son of a bitch! Did that teenager have male pattern baldness? The fuck? Because you blinded me, you fuck! Really, guys? Punk mother... Whoa. Ooh, boy! Better... Ah, uh, yeah! I can't see stretchy rubber the same way, the same way I can't see a certain scene in Kakeguri the same way. Because of... If you guys don't know about my own personal YouTube channel, um, from time to time when I'm trying to work on bigger videos, my team and I will sit down and we'll be like, we gotta make some memes. However, this time it's because of my partner here. We're watching Kakeguri because she's like, I've never seen it before. And I'm like, you've never seen it before, uh, Ray? And she's just like, no. So me and Ray sat down, watched the entire first season, roughly I would say two and a half, three days. Um, from there, we then started season two where the first episode had this one scene that reminded me of like a Saturday Night Live skit of Jim Carrey just doing a terrible song for Soul Train. And stay down. And after that, made the meme because I'm working on like four reviews four rant videos and the season finale of Music Perspective
But then again, I'm also kind of like, it feels grand to just be like, hey, I do have moments where even I can't make extravagant videos. But then I'm also approached where, where it's just like, V, you can make jokes on your own thing using memes. Why don't you do that for your company? And I'm like, I could, but that's what the skit stuff is for. And stay down. Like, making small skits, they don't really take that, that long, and plus, comedy is subjective. Like, G.I. Jane 2. Probably one of the best jokes of the year. Other than the Oscars themselves every year. What a waste. But I digress. I've gotta sell some shit at the pawn shop. We're gonna get to the story soon, guys. We still have about over an hour to do this. But while I'm just trying to do this, I could probably go down a list of things that I have done recently for review that I'm not gonna be joining other people in doing. Like, so, like, we've done reviews for Chippendale Rescue Rangers the movie. Saber Spark did it. The Black N Nerd did it. We're pretty sure Nostalgia Critic did it. All reviewer tubers are doing uh, Chippendale Rescue. Re and I'm just going to stop a lot of people there. I refuse to do that movie. Number one, I don't do low hanging fruit productions. If I wanted to do something that was beneath my station, there are numerous properties for me to do stuff with. I don't need to go that far to make myself miserable. Two, three, four, five. No, okay, just four. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, that film. I don't care for it and unlike other movies where it's like I could change my mind about it I put that in the same vein as like when people that have seen my video about movies I refuse to review or things I won't review it's like when people go up to me it's like I should review Fritz the Cat unless you're gonna be tipping me on Kofi or going on to my new Patreon I'm gonna be building up or even hitting me up saying like hey make an official website we'll tip out some stuff because we want to see you make something else and blah 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 any of that shit fine but if it's just gonna be you want me to do it for free I fucking refuse not just because of what it did to me but because it just kind of really upset and hurt my partner that kind of goes to a whole nother category of why it's like I refuse to do something that hurts someone that dear at least okay that's a clippable fucking hit I just saw my best friend die on the dance floor. Oh shit! That actually was kind of pimp. I'm proud of myself. Get the fuck up, bitch. You think this is mercy? I don't think so. I don't do mercy. Oh, 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 okay.
Hey there, bro! Looking for the hottest paradise in town? Huh? Tashiro-kun, is that you? Huh? Yagami! Ah, uh, it's just you! Loser! Now that, there's a surprise. Tashiro-kun used to roll with the Matsugane family back when the Tojo clan was still around. Ah, uh, yes. Back when... The Yakuza was actually still a huge thing before they were kind of just dismantled more and more. Ooh, boy. As their self-proclaimed fashion king, his clothes were just as loud back then. I once had to borrow those clothes for an investigation. After knocking flat on his ass, of course. Well... Mm. We end up making peace after all was said and done. We even fought alongside each other at one point. I just love eating this breakfast. I'm sorry. So, uh, what, what brings you out there, Gicho, man? What brings you out here, man? Oh, just some detective work. What about you? I guess there's no that as long as you're scraping by. Are you kidding me? Who says I'm scraping by, dumbass? I worked hard to get this fucking job. I will kill you. Uh, okay, god dang. Besides, this ain't just any old gig. I'm an event pr producer now. I get to plan all kinds of cool shit. Concerts, rap parties, the launch of a... some British-turned-American actress's career. You name it. Oh. Huh. I guess it takes a big show-off to run a big show. Nice! You're damn right! But for real, I should have gone legit from the start. I'd kick more asses than entertainer anyway. So yeah, you should check out my new, hot, very spicy event in Ichicho. The grand opening of the Paradise VR. Ah. Mm. Wow, man. You really have come a long way. Now, what's this about a grand opening? You remember Paradise VR, right? It's a virtual arcade from Kamurocho that puts you in the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where you put on that headset and run around a video game type thing. I've done that, yeah. Yeah, you know it. Of expanding into a Jicho just recently. And, thanks to my creative genius and me ripping off some people on the internet, we did a huge overhaul on the gameplay. Instead of letting you race to the goal by yourself, we put in some AI rivals to stab you. I see. Nice. So there's an additional element of competition now. Jesus, my nose! Exactly. Now look. Then, Paradise VR's in the basement. Tell me. Tell you what. Let me tell you... Tell me to tell you something. First game, the one you're gonna be playing, it's on the house. It's gonna be on the house. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, shoot, if it's free, then I might as well take you up on that. <laughs> I'll see you there. 
got a new side mission. Legend of the Crane Dancer. What a waste. Well, we just saw your best friend die on the dance floor. Dilly do. Now get the fuck out of my way, you stupid bitch. Fuck you. Give me your soul, you peasant fuck nuggets. Give me your soul, bitch! Oh, shit. And that guy just hits a car. Is behind you. Oh my god, all of y'all are idiots. I lost something I just dropped. That's merely a few feet away. It's not even a few feet, it's a couple of inches. That's so far away from me. Maybe I'm a little too aggressive when I play games like this. I don't know. I just saw my best friend die on the dance floor. Everybody gonna be lining up. Really, guys? I just saw my best friend die on the Crutches apparently. I wanted to do it in style, nice. apparently it's not a thing.
I need to get the fuck back to Yokohama 99. Mostly because one cutscene, so I could probably finish my sandwich. Oh, I was just about to call you. I was gonna say, I've got some leads on the murder. By the way, you wouldn't happen to know a Detective Watanabe, would you? From Kanagawa PD? Oh, yes. He came asking me about the harassment case. Apparently he couldn't interview Ahara, so he got us instead. Wanna know why that is? Apparently Tokyo PD suspects Ahara might be linked to the murder in some way. And since they don't want Kanagawa stealing the show, they're blocking their investigators out. That does make sense. Not in a bureaucratic way. By the way, when's your next appointment with Ahara? As soon as we're ready, honestly. Did you want to come along? Yeah, I was just about to ask that. But I'd like to do a bit more research beforehand. I want to know exactly how Ahara's crime played out. Funny you should say that. Hoshino-kun just told me he's going to re-inspect the crime scene tomorrow. He said it'd be best to plot Ehara's movement from Ikebukuro all the way to Shinjuku, where he was caught. No kidding. Then I ought to go with. If that's the case, hold on one sec. Okay. Yagami-san? It's me, Hoshino. I'm stoked to hear you'll be helping me out tomorrow. <laughs> I'm stoked to be there. Oh, and could you bring the statements from Ehara's arrest with you? It'd be a huge help if you could walk me through what happened on site. You got it. We'll be starting from Ikebukuro Station, so just meet me there tomorrow. Will do. See you then. Okay, finally finished eating my sandwich. TK Bukuro Station! See that sign right there? Ehara was leaning on that before the incident. Yep, just like that. He was standing around, searching for a victim. Ehara's the man in the cap and sunglasses. That's him deciding who to attack. Damn, looking at it now, he is pretty suspicious. So, Ahara was lingering at the platform a while, huh? Yeah. He walked past the ticket gate at 7.43 a.m. This was confirmed by the security tapes as well as when he swiped his transit card. After that, he wandered the platform an entire hour ogling women. He spent that long choosing a target? Yeah. 
Sick, isn't it? Then the security camera that caught him would be... that one? That's right. Ikebukuro is pretty famous for its sheer amount of foot traffic. In a station like this, the cameras almost never have a blind spot. Anyhow, at 9.06 a.m., Ehara finally honed in on his would-be victim. Then he boarded her train, which was departing for Shinjuku. She's the one in the pink cardigan and white skirt? Yeah, Yui Mamiya, an office worker and mother of a six-year-old boy. The two of them show up on the train's interior cam as well. According to the victim's statement, Ehara began by rubbing her posterior with the back of his hand. But it didn't stop there. After that, he put his hand up her skirt. Pretty sickening. I'm assuming he targeted someone shy, thinking she wouldn't resist. It makes me angry just thinking about it. The victim stated she was too scared to call for help meaning she endured this for six minutes until the train reached its stop in Shinjuku. Can you send what you just showed me to my phone? Sure. Now let's head to Shinjuku Station. Then we can watch as the jerk gets busted. Even if we did defend him in court, an asshole's still an asshole. This is a Looks like we're getting close to Shinjuku. The train's pretty light right now, but it was packed during the crime, right? Oh yeah, the car occupancy at that time of day can easily reach 180%. And Ahara should have been standing roughly where I am. Suspicious. The car's pretty empty right now, but when Ehara committed his crime, it was 180%. Oh God! Jesus. Uh, like I just now noticed, like the way of how blue it is, it makes the zero before the other zero look like an eight. <laughs> Suspicious. Hey. The train's heading to Shinjuku Station from Ikebukuro. It's about six minutes from departure to arrival. Okay. Hmm. A security camera that records the train's interior. Those were installed to deter train gropers, or at the very least, identify them. Okay, nothing else. Uh... Oh yeah! Bitch, seal the deal! I'm not reading that, that's too depressing. Just ask her out. Ehara and Mamiya-san both exited the train and got onto the platform here. But right before that, Mamiya-san suddenly grabbed Ehara's wrist and yanked his hand out from under her skirt. That's when she got a good look at her assailant. So without a doubt, she saw it was him. Yes, and there were also traces of her garments on his hand during evidence analysis. Anyway, after being grabbed, Ehara wrenched himself free and took off at a sprint. See, here he gets off the train and bolts across the platform. And Mamiya-san chases after him, asking people around her for help. Ah, uh, this is what they kept looping on TV. Yeah. And honestly, with all this evidentiary footage, defending him in court was a lost cause. Was there any security footage that wasn't aired on TV? Sure, take a look around you. There's more than just one camera pointed at us. They're practically everywhere. Oh, yeah. As for what I was saying earlier, Ihara was finally tackled right in front of those stairs. 
Oh, right. I have a diagram of the platform to show you. So Ahara gets off the train here, and then gets apprehended here. How far apart is that? Roughly a hundred meters. Both he and the victim were weaving their way through the crowd. The whole scene was very chaotic. Even after Ahara was caught, the train was stalled 20 minutes until the area was deemed safe. Hey, you think we could get the positions of all these cameras and where they're pointing penciled in? Good idea. Let's check each camera's position as we walk over to where Ahara was detained. That's where he got tackled, so if you could let me know whenever you see a camera. I can mock it up on our diagram here. Cool. All right. So we are looking for all the security cameras. <laughs> See one. <laughs> Luckily, I've already done this part of the game numerous times at this point, so suspicious. That one off. Hey. another camera looks like we checked all the nearby cameras let's go up a little further now all right all right, all right. all right Oh, bird just finally hit my window. Hey. Suspicious. There's another. That's not a camera. <gasps> Guys, check out my new camera. Huh, this isn't a camera. Banana fight! No! And there's what just a the? weird stretch without a camera. Checking that one off. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Yeah, there's like a weird stretch without a camera. Suspicious. There's another one there. Okay. Now, from here, and then your pocket over here. It seems to be just the huge lack of cameras to where it's a huge blind spot. Even with this in the way, you can partially make out a figure. But it seems like there's just this weird pocket of empty space. Looks like we checked all the nearby cameras. Let's move on. Okay. I thought I was getting on to something. Okay. Another! Suspicious. Another! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey. 
Okay, looks like we got all the cameras. Our diagram is now complete. Okay, this diagram presents the station at the time of the groping. Ehara got off the train around 9:12 a.m. on October 7th from the um, from the disboarding area. He ran to the direction of the arrow. Then he was tackled by concerned now we'll civilians. Now we'll pencil in the camera locations and what directions they're pointing. Each of the orange is cool. Cool. Suspicious. What the? Hmm. Okay. Hey. Suspicious. But then, like I stated before about the blind spot. So this was the general situation when Ahara committed his crime. What do you think, Yagami-san? Anything of note? Do you think Ahara and Mamiya-san were riding the train pretty frequently? Oh yeah, Mamiya-san commuted by train. She was here every weekday. Same goes for Ahara, actually, but he was off that day. Supposedly he was going to see his wife, even though they're separated. Hmm. Did he ever say why he wandered around the platform for an hour? He said the thought of his wife had him flustered and he couldn't force himself to board the train. He always had an excuse ready for anything you asked him, including the harassment charges. He pled not guilty, but the evidence said otherwise. There wasn't a single argument we could make in court to establish reasonable doubt. It's safe to say he did it, but on the same day, he knew his son's bully would be murdered. In hey, Nocturne! Jincho. <sighs> Pretty clear it wasn't a spontaneous need to grab some ass. I agree. It's almost like all the commotion around the harassment might have been planned out. Maybe everything was, even down to getting captured. Yeah. You really played everyone by turning harassment into an alibi for murder. No matter how much evidence points to him as a killer, can deny it with complete immunity. This is getting crazier by the minute. At the very least, he had something to do with it. Some connection. But I can't imagine he'll talk. Whatever his plan is, it's pretty clear Ehara is committed. To what? Getting revenge for his son? I think so. Who do you think his accomplices could be? Ehara is a veteran cop. Think maybe he knows how to hire an actual assassin? If so, he could have just paid for his revenge, right? Sure, but assassins cost an arm and a leg. He wasn't rich before all this, was he? No, he barely scraped up enough to cover his lawsuit against the school. Thought so. I've gone to the scenes of both the murder and the train groping. That should be all the places I need to see. Hey, it's Shiosaki. What's up, Sari-san? I'm scheduling an interview with Ahara tomorrow at the Tokyo Detention Center. We'll take a taxi from Genda's if that all works for you. Sounds good, but I need to head back to Ijin Show for now. Something you forgot to do? Yeah, it involves Ahara's motive, which would be without a doubt his son's suicide. So I want to confirm if Mikushiba really bullied the kid. And the best person to ask happens to be down in Ichincho. Alright, then I'll let you get to it. Cool. Then I'll see you tomorrow. How you doing though, Nocturne? I'm sorry I couldn't greet you properly prior. I'm just always invested in this.
Big Sheba, Hara. Yep, I think I saw everything there was to see at each of their crime scenes. Now all that's left is getting Sawa Sensei to talk. He will be learning what happened with Ahara's son four years ago. We have s fucking evidence, and yet not a single way to use them. Oh wait, fuck, I forgot we could do dates in this game, shit. I just love beating up delinquents, man. I'm glad you're doing good, Nocturne. Uh, sorry for like the slow start, everybody. Again, mornings aren't my thing, and I probably shouldn't be doing a lot of morning streams, but I feel like the way I keep doing night more often than not, mornings slash early afternoons, they're more my stream schedule for the weekends. Weekdays, though with things kind of slowing down on a lot of different ends that I announced to my team I'm taking a lot more time off for myself from work. Like, I'm still going to be doing my day job, obviously, but... And this is going to shock a lot of people. Like, it shocked Crimson, it shocked a few other people that have known me for a long time. I'm honestly taking time off for myself to do less work for my business. I've worked at that thing for nearly six years where the progress we have amassed is decent and what we're going to be doing to fix up stuff will be even grander. I know it. But I know that right now, I've worked myself into a near stupor. Like, I don't have burnout. I'm not picking up on ideas. I'm just getting physically ill. Best friend die on the dance floor. We could get we been together such a long, long time. And then you near me. I can't do that fucking joke. <laughs> if you guys don't know, like I said at the beginning of this stream, um, I've been working on a couple of new reviews, like, um, it's true, she, she would kick my ass. But, um, where, where was it? Right. So if you guys do not know on my own personal YouTube channel, I make memes from time to time. Like, me and my team will sit down when we're making some brand new stuff. Like, I have several reviews in the works. A lot of stuff for YouTube creators, because I haven't really found anything in Hollywood that's worth my time. And I mean a lot of stuff in Hollywood that's not worth my time. So, yeah, indie creators all over the fucking place. See me. But during this time, me and Crimson, as also do not know, Crimson and I 
almost spend every single day together. And stay down. I am not joking. Uh, she was uh, was like, I've never seen Kakeguri, everyone's favorite show about compulsive gambling and how to ruin your clothing in five minutes. The anime, where you're no longer hetero, homo, pan, or any sort of sexual. You're gamble sexual. That is an anime where it's like, you don't have a sexuality to people anymore. You have an addiction to want to have sex with gambling itself. But we're watching season two now, we're on season two of after like two and a half days technically and we get to this one scene where it just reminds me of a Jim Carrey uh, joke song he made when he was hosting Saturday Night Live a couple years back back when he was fully in acting instead of like I'm gonna paint a lot of stuff to make fun of politics and then give up on acting because the Oscars showed just how much of some pussies Hollywood really is. Um, where was I? Right. Mischief and debauchery. I was gonna say something, but then my mind kind of went blank for a split second. Give me a second. Okay, so I know I promised you guys a lot of stuff for Monday, but I don't know if I could keep it a secret. It's so good. But I figured since Memorial Day means nothing to me, I might as well do something that's kind of like an early birthday gift for me. Because as y'all know, the ninth, your boy was brought into this world. In June and from that whole day everything around me has just been some ravenous desires everywhere So, I'm gonna be doing a full-blown, let's try out and see how it goes, stream of the cooking management horror simulator that's been on my partner's radar and my radar. I would do it on my, but one, my PC isn't made for streaming games anymore. Uh, not until I can either figure out how to fix that, uh, that lovely laptop I'm giving away. Or, I just buy a strictly gaming PC.
divinity with the hit song. I just need one. I'm sorry, diversity with the hit song. I just need one. Even though Tired show this ain't build a bitch. Got a minute? No, not for you. I really have nothing more to say. What if I told you it's looking more and more likely Iharasan had a hand in Mikoshiba's death? Well, it doesn't concern me. Iharasan believes Mikoshiba tormented Toshiro kun so badly that he took his own life. But neither the third-party investigation nor the courts were on his side. So what's the truth here? You know, don't you? <sighs> what really happened between Mikoshiba and Toshiro-kun? Why won't you tell me the truth? Why do you keep asking? I said I don't know! I'm going to the detention center tomorrow to get some answers out of Ahara-san. <sighs> what? I saw where Mikoshiba was murdered. He endured no shortage of cruelty before he died. They tortured him, you know. They broke all his fingers before they slid his throat. No. Okay, part of that text is so unreadable from a weird angle. I know I'm putting her through a lot right now, but she's connected to this too. She's got information I need to know before I go see Ehara. But somehow Ehara-san knew Mikoshiba would be killed on the day he got caught for groping. It's like he did it to prove he had nothing to do with the murder. But maybe that wasn't his real objective at all. Huh? I think he wanted to signal that he'd finally avenged his son. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. If I'm gonna face him tomorrow, I can't go in without some ammunition. So, four years ago, did Mikoshiba bully Toshiro-kun or not? That's all I wanna know. My answer won't change. There's no evidence Mikoshiba-kun did anything wrong. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Take a look at this. That's... Toshiro Ehara, your student. Imagine that he's listening to what you're saying now. If you can look at him and say Mikoshiba played no part in his death, I'll leave you alone. In fact, you'll never hear a word from me again. So which is it? We need to get them answers, bitch. Four years ago, not long after I'd transferred here to teach English, that's when it started. I was trying my best to get acclimated, and I was finally on a first-name basis with everyone. One day, after school, I was out on the roof taking a break when Toshiro-kun suddenly ran by. I called out to him to ask what was wrong, but he shushed me and kept running. I saw he had a bloody nose. Moments later, Mikoshiba-kun showed up. He was looking for him. I told him I hadn't seen him. Toshiro-kun's face told me everything I needed to know. So Mikoshiba was bullying him after all? Yes. Toshiro-kun told me this later on. Whenever he'd leave school with Mikoshiba-kun and his friends, they'd force him to hand over money. At first, they'd try to pass it off as a joke. They said since he lowered the class average on tests, he ought to buy them all drinks as an apology. And Mikoshiba-kun... He was having too much fun with it to stop. He started offering tutoring sessions to Toshiro-kun. Only so he and his crew could extract their tuition from him. They'd even break into his house while his mother was at work and 
take the money she left him for dinner. And if he couldn't pay, they'd beat him up at school or make him grovel in the bathroom. Didn't anybody see what was really happening? The teachers either saw nothing or turned a blind eye. Few students knew about it, though. Anyway, I ended up relaying everything Toshiro-kun had told me to those boys' homeroom teacher. Mind you, this teacher had tenure, title, and years of experience under his belt. Do you know what he told me? He said not to cause a commotion because those boys were about to graduate. Why does that not surprise me? To be honest, it was hard to paint such an outwardly model student in a negative light. There was also no hard evidence to support Toshiro-kun's story. But someone still should have stepped in to help. If only I'd understood that at the time. You tried. The only thing I tried was to keep an eye out for him. Making sure he wasn't alone, things like that. But unfortunately, that wasn't good enough. On the first morning of the third trimester, Toshiro-kun tied a towel to his doorknob and hung himself in his room. And that's when you confronted Mikoshiba, right? You asked him point blank if he'd bullied him. I did. So... Four years ago, Sawa-sensei stood up to Mikushiba for his terrible behavior. Then, why has she kept that to herself for so long? Mikushiba-kun pretended to know nothing. He was more careful, shaken even, from then on. In all honesty, when I heard a third-party committee was investigating, I was hoping the truth would come out. Students were asked to fill out an anonymous questionnaire. And many of them wrote down exactly what they saw. Hold on. Didn't the court end up declaring there was no substantial evidence of bullying? How could they have said that with those questionnaires on hand? First of all, the committee never interviewed anyone directly. Those questionnaires were the only proof of anything. And the teacher of those boys was the one who collected them. Each time he came across any mention of bullying, he'd toss that questionnaire out. Also, he wouldn't get blamed in the end for ignoring the warning signs. So then the committee was pointless. A few students did speak up about the bullying online, but their posts weren't much to go on. Toshiro-kun's parents were completely caught off guard. His mother worked through the day, and his father lived all the way in Tokyo. That made it that much easier for the teacher to cover up all the evidence of bullying. He made that statement without even consulting the principal or the chairman. So, right before Miko Shibakun graduated, the committee presented their findings. That there was no evidence of bullying. The conclusion you've heard over and over. What the hell? In Japan, 300 children commit suicide every year across all grades. Less than 3% are proven to be linked to bullying. Toshiro-kun's case ended up like that, too. But Ehara-san wasn't satisfied with those findings. So he sued Serio Hai, demanding compensation for Toshiro-kun's death. As the trial dragged on, I was eventually called to the witness stand. Of course, my intention was to let everything I knew out into the open. But before that could happen, that damn teacher came with the school's attorney to see how I would testify. They didn't want you making them look bad, huh? Of course not. That's when I first learned what he did with those incriminating questionnaires. They had no choice but to reveal everything to me, to try and sway me to their side. I guess they were just that desperate. After all, I was the only adult who Toshiro-kun confided in. I don't think he'd spoken to his parents about it once. So yes, that's why there was never any objective evidence of bullying. 
It wasn't like I had a mind to record our conversations. And I hadn't personally witnessed it either. The school attorney saw fit to remind me that the law says innocent until proven guilty. And if I couldn't produce tangible evidence, then I shouldn't be accusing Miko Shibakun. So it was witness tampering. That is, they coerced you into false testimony? <sighs> yes. Must have been incredibly hard on you. What I should have done was told the truth regardless. But what else could I have really done for him? Some days I just don't know. As much as I've tried to convince myself I did everything I could for him, I can never fully believe it. So what happened to the teacher who covered all this up? He transferred to another school. Got to think he's still standing at a podium somewhere. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Even so, I don't have the right to place the blame solely on him. Wait, where in the story did Ahara definitively find out that Mikushibo was a bully? Also, hi, Emmy. Wasn't clear at the trial whether he could really bring himself to kill a person. Maybe, but in that case, Mikushiba's bullying of Toshiro, or those questionnaires getting discarded. Have you ever told anyone else? No. I've been silent. Yagami-san, you know what? Back when I was a student in high school, I witnessed bullying firsthand. There was this kid. My classmates pushed him too far. And one day, he just jumped off the roof. Off the roof? By some miracle, he survived the fall. And he's been in a coma for the last 13 years. Nobody knows if he'll ever wake up. His name is Mitsuru, and he may never open his eyes to the world again. His mom watches him, but she works full time. She's a higher up in the government. I'm sorry to hear it. The worst part is that his teacher knew. He even talked to the bullies about it. But all he said was, don't overdo it. But afterward, the public eviscerated him. He had to quit his teaching job. And yet... For poor Toshiro-kun, nobody was held responsible at all. And that includes me. But if anyone was going to take responsibility for that, Mikushiba should have been first in line. I'm sure Ahara-san must have thought the same thing. You know what I wanted to be as a kid? I was so innocent, I wanted to be a teacher. And after Mitsuro-kun's tragedy, I felt practically obligated. And still, I just let history repeat itself. I think I have a clearer picture about what happened four years ago. And I'm ready to interview Ehara. I should go back to Yokohama 99 and get some rest. Whoop. This game just keeps going there. Woo, boy. So, yeah, um, for anyone that thinks that living in Japan is like a whole big dreamscape where everything is better than living in America, um, kids keep dying in Japan for a reason. Mostly built around the whole societal thing of save face which is a horrible mentality saving face 
is one of the biggest things that's like the biggest damning point. If it wasn't for my buddy from Melee, a uh, shout out to Suling Chang for. I need to stop putting the emphasis on Chan. Uh, if it wasn't for Su Ling being who she was to remind me about the whole saving face thing, I'd be like, Oh, Japan, why you do this? Uh, thanks for the hide, Andre, Papa. And I know there's a lot of dying in America too, but... At least it's not to the point where people just kind of brush everything aside for the save face mentality. Like, people will definitely try to fight for it a lot more than they do in a lot of um, Asian countries. Japan especially. China, it's a lot worse in many different regards that I do not want to repeat because there is so much stuff fucked up in but I digress it's just I understand people wanting to get away from what they think is a terrible location but you shouldn't be trying to look for other cities and shit oh yeah we we've uh We've got a lot of work to do in America, but the point of what I'm making in the statement is you shouldn't be trying to look for other countries as an escape for what is already still happening. Wanting change is one thing, but to run away to another country for all this sort of stuff is not going to save you from what's still going to be around the corner. You want to raise your kids in some place better? you gotta make it somewhere otherwise you're just gonna be constantly running because the world is not a fair place and we gotta stop trying to look for escapism by forcing their countries our big refuge does that mean I want people to not want to leave their country in war times absolutely not that's not the thing and if you're gonna twist it to be that angle you're kind of missing the point. It's just, you shouldn't be trying to, if you're not in wartime, if you want me to do it that way, in case you guys aren't understanding what I'm saying. Not you guys watching, obviously, but in general people that would just be trying to twist it up. If that is the case of everything that's being stated and taken into consideration and shit like that. Um, looking for another country to fix your issues is not something that you yourself should do. You should always look towards where you're coming from with the grain of salt of these are things that are happening but I should try to make do what I can with what I have otherwise it's not really changing stuff for the better it's just it's just making up excuses to then make it a whole nother reality of how things can go for yourself and I'm done getting on my soapbox because, again, I know a lot of people don't come to these streams because I have a opinion that matters. They, they came here to watch me play a game, so I'm gonna get off my soapbox now. Oh, Yagami-san, thank you for coming. Yeah. Yep. Outside counselor for the MRC at your service. Yagami-san. Hey, congrats on that, Yagami-san. 
Definitely better than being on Sis's bad side. She must have really laid into you, huh? She was all worked up on the day before, ranting about busting that pervert. I guess so. Yeah, I almost end up on the front page of the papers as some kind of high school creeper thanks to her. I'm sorry. I, I had to apologize for that. By the way. So, Amasawa, you wanted to talk to me about something? Uh, did it... Which is a good thing that you didn't want to do anything to harm yourself. Because, yeah, it's going to be like, oh, yeah. I could have beaten someone's face in, but I didn't. Because then you could probably have hurt your own knuckles. What in the fuck? Oh, just watching something very foolish. Yes. There's a rather nasty rumor going around, and we were hoping you could help us with the investigation. Well. As a matter of fact, there's a possibility that the sugar baby incident is actually related to this rumor. That reminds me, did I ever tell you guys I was almost a sugar baby? But it wasn't for someone that was older than me. That's the weird part. Like, it was someone years younger than me. And apparently they're gonna be like, I will support you and want to do whatever you want. I will pay for it. And all I want to do is right you so she was trying to basically be my sugar mama and i'm like um i don't I, I don't like this i feel uncomfy this is not what i signed up for i don't like it because i have my own pride man i can't have people pay for everything I do. I feel wrong about that. Crowdfunding is one thing, but having someone be like, I will financially pay for everything you want to do. I just feel all kinds of ways about that. And I don't want anyone to try and... I don't want a single person to come up to me and be like, you're just overthinking this, V. You're f***ing her up on the deal. Yeah, no, no, I, I refuse. I re fucking refuse, okay? I fucking refuse. You can't make me. Anyway. I suppose I ought to do my duty as an advisor. Urban legend! Somehow recently, a large number of Ijicho teenagers have been engaging in illicit behavior. All these delinquent issues are flying under the radar, but any authority figures catching why so far. Which is surprising, considering they really run the gamut, gamut, all right, shoplifting, smoke, maybe street racing, gambling, phone scams, the whole works. Even more surprising, many of these cases are otherwise reputable students who decided to break bad out of the blue almost simultaneously hmm yeah. I need to lean cuz my arm hurts that's rather strange 
most intriguing, the most intriguing part of the rumor, though, is that a single individual has enabled this criminal activity. Huh? You mean there's a mastermind behind it all, or, or something? At least in effect, if the rumor is accurate, someone is leading these kids down a dark path. Word is getting to the point that this sole person appears to be the entire source of all this del- Excuse me. Oh. Sounds almost like some kind of urban legend. Apparently, the Serio High students refer to him as the Professor. The Professor. I like to believe it's a reference to Sherlock Holmes' greatest nemesis, Professor James Moriarty. Oh, Moriarty is my godson's name. God damn it, Nocturne. <laughs> Nocturne says, I guess I have no pride because I wish someone would say, Here, have all this money you need to hire someone you need to turn your game into an indie project to a triple A ish quality game and have your music orchestrated by Nobu Umatsu. See, I wouldn't have a problem with it if it was crowdfunded, but it was also with the ties of, I will give you all this money as long as I can sit on your. I'm not do that okay that makes me feel like a prostitute and I would rather not feel like a prostitute okay <laughs> he masterminded all sorts of criminal activities through London in his debut story he referred to it as the Napoleon of crime in other words but perhaps it would be more accurate to refer to our own professor as the Napoleon of delinquency. So to sum it up... This is fascinating stuff. But you said it was all just a rumor so far, right? No. Well, the recurring themes in these rumors are specific enough to make me think there's something to them. Well... Apparently, there's a secret website ran by the professor that only serial students can access. <sighs> I've identified some students who admit they know of the site, but they're not exactly opening up to me any further. See, Nocturne, you're not wrong. I will admit you are not wrong on any stretch of the imagination. However, I just refuse because I would rather not just go through that whole thing right there. Just, just nah. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Ah, the top of my head hurts. Oh, a secret website, huh? What's it supposed to be? Some kind of message board? I've always heard those wound up turning into pits of anonymous hate. Nothing but places for bullies to get their kicks. Yes. Yeah, what Emmy said. Like, I get the whole thing about wanting to be financially compensated. Being like, here's all this money. But I like my independence. I can't be a sugar baby. I mean, I know people are just like, I wouldn't mind doing it. And I'm like, you know, if that's what you want to do, I'm not going to shame. I'm just saying I couldn't do it. I can't. It's not me. Likewise, however, there's apparently a unique feature on the professor's website that's gotten the student's attention. He's doing all the Fortnite dances. Wait, the what now? You know, Fortnite. I have no idea what the hell Fortnite is. God, Yagami-san, you're old. Hmm? Anyway, enough of your jokes. What kind of unique feature? Well, when students write posts stating their desire for something, it sounds like the professor appears and grants their wishes. Unbelievable. 
Grant's wishes. That's absurd. We don't live in the Middle East. We don't know anything about or genies. D-J-I-N-N-I, -N -N -I, genie. No. May I remind you, this is only a rumor? But I imagine if some of the wishes are for answers on test, or a way to make easy money, or to get revenge on certain individuals... Huh. Okay, this is starting to sound a little bit more like a case than an urban legend. Oh yeah, you told me about that, Bubba. But if it was companionship, I'd be like, you know, that's a little bit more reasonable. I just can't do it. Uh, da, 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 da. I just don't think we're as independent as we want to think, unless, of course, you can, you already can provide everything for yourself, but, oh, Nocturne, trust me, being offered that stuff is not even, not even a really good thing to have in my whole thing. I'd, I'd rather not. Just, just, no, I'm good. Uh, he tried giving, yeah, he was trying to give you 30,000, but you just, you couldn't do it. You're, you're too much of an independent spirit. Like, you'd rather fight for what you get rather than having it get handed to you. We're the same in that regard, in many ways. Which a lot of people are foolish for, if I recall. Uh, you're not wrong, however, you still can do it due to being demisexual. That's fair. That's fair. But still, awful hard to swallow. Yes. Damn it, Nocturne! <laughs> oh, Lordy Jesus. This is why we love Nocturne, man. He can make anything hilarious. Yes, but it sounds dangerous enough to merit investigation. Considering the hooligans that the professor seems to surround himself with, this is someone no high schooler should turn to for assistance. So we're going to go to someone else for assistance that's also an adult. Okay, we're kind of seeing the weird implications because people might see uh, detectives in the same case. I, I get the point. Okay, thank God. Baby, just what the... I see. On this. Oh, he's got hooligans. That complicates things. Hey. What's a hooligan? D n never change, stupid. The kind of punks who pull scams and run shady businesses. Sort of like the Yakuza, but without any of the rules or discipline or any sort of style to them. They can be a lot worse to deal with. Anti-gang laws don't apply to them, so they've had to... So they're hard to sweep up. More and more of them are popping up ever since the to Tojo and Omi disbanded. Right. Because, yeah, you'd rather earn what you want because if you did it that way, you never would have saw it as something you achieved more than if you sold yourself out and put a price up saying... You're not worth more so I get that, Papa. Awkward moment when you have a day walker is also a detective. Are you reading my uh, upcoming scripts again, Emmy? I keep telling you, you can't be spoiling shit for people. 
and before people think I'm joking, no, I I literally did have a script prepared for a day walking detective, but that's for something else entirely. It's not what you think. It has nothing to do with the Dresden Files. And for anyone wondering what the Dresden Files are, I'm just gonna sit here and kind of sob to myself about being one of those people. Where it's like, I know this one cool thing you guys should probably know about. Sounds like a hipster thing. Alright, I'm gonna go cry in the corner now. I was just trying to tell you guys about something cool. As I'm cleaning out my sheets. Jesus Christ. Baby, run down. Okay, cleaning up. Doo -doo. Okay. Well, I had no idea. On a related note, I've heard that the dancing that the dance club's sugar baby nearly got caught up in a dangerous situation, but some large vulgar men suddenly appeared and offered her protection. Apparently, they were sent to serve as her enforcers. I'm surprised you know what they're called. <laughs> I read a lot of books. That does not answer anything. At any rate, considering the range of criminal activity we've already discussed, I imagine this hypothetical operation in Ijichio would be quite a lucrative one. Hey, are you just a plant? This seems like plant behavior. Like, you clearly know a lot more than what's going on. No one knows this much from just reading a fucking book and being in a mystery club. You are a plant sent by numerous people to infiltrate a school system. You are a fucking plant. If I were to guess... In fact, it would it could very well be lucrative enough for someone to decide it's worth capitalizing on, perhaps with the use of a mysterious front man. Okay, seriously, where the fuck are the cameras? Where are the goddamn enforcers? I need to know exactly what the hell is going on, because this shit is starting to make me get a little bit on edge. Okay, so all the talk about the professor might just be a smokescreen to let those thugs run their schemes. That actually sounds more plausible. Yes. Sure. You see now? From the right perspective, this urban legend actually appears rather mundane. I'm good for now, let's, let's do this shit. Amasawa, I think I've got a solid grasp on the situation. Do you need anything new for me, or should I just keep it and keep at it with the dance club yes. for now? No, please just continue your efforts. Thank you. In the meantime, I'll keep back to the professor rumors and sniff out anything useful. I know you already have your hands full, but depending on what I hear, we may need you to infiltrate other communities as well. Sure. Just let me know when you need me. Uh, oh, huh. by the way, it's an app I recommend you download if you're going to get more involved. What is it? It's a scheduling system for tracking your activities and responsibilities. It seems popular amongst teachers who are also club advisors. I imagine it'd do you some good considering your increasing involvement in school life. Good diaries. We've got the school stories. Now that you mention it. By the way, Yagami san, I heard from the chairman that you have a lawyer's badge. Yep. Although I'm not practicing anymore. What about it? No. Oh, nothing. It's just the thought of almost accusing a lawyer of being a voyeur gives me the shivers. You're a weird child. You're a very weird child. All I have to say is, you're a weird child. 
But I have nothing against you. You're just very, very odd. <laughs> I think I could sue for defamation? No, think I could sue for defamation? Please don't. Even the brother's laughing. Also, the top of my head is kind of... Wait, was I supposed to stop streaming? Nah, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm so glad you're yeah. here. You said you wanted to talk to me about that teacher got hit by a ball in the hallway? Yes, I did. It's gonna be a bit of a long story. Gotcha, gotcha. Seems like Amasawa wants my help, but what should I do? Hopefully sounds like... Gonna need to stick around for a while. Yeah, fuck it, fuck it, whatever! Alright. As the MRC's advisor, I gotta gotcha. help her out. Sure. What do you need help Thank with? Thank you very much. Just have a seat, please, would you? So, what do you need help with? <sighs> Yagami-san, do you know... Ebi Su Sensei from school? Hmm? Say, that name does sound familiar. Oh, yeah, that's, um, that's the teacher who greeted me in the hallway. Friendly guy. Yes. Yep, that sounds like him. His real name is Katsuma Ara. He teaches Japanese. He's the type of teacher who's super nice, never gets mad, and always has a smile on his face. Meaning he's a serial killer. Wait, the what now? I'm serious, Yagami-san. He kills people. What the hell is wrong with you? I had so much sugar in my intake today. Okay, that explains everything. And because of all that, people started calling him Ebisu-san. Or Ebisu-sensei. After Ebisu, the god of good fortune. However... Hmm. However... That personality is only the way he is now. What does that mean? What do you mean? I've always felt something sinister about Ebisu Sensei, so I looked into his past. He was gorgeous. I mean, the man was beautiful. He had long, luxurious hair and everything. He looked like one of those Bara boys that people fawn over. Matter of fact, could you leave the room real quick for about five minutes? Thank you for giving me those five minutes. And I made some incredible discoveries. First of all, he retired from his previous high school for causing a violent incident. Huh? But didn't you say he was friendly? Yes. Yes, but apparently at his previous school, he was known as someone who loses his temper easily. And once that happens, he's out of control. He sent dozens of students to the hospital at that school. Hmm, damn. That's... a pretty big deal. I also heard he has the strength of a bear. What kind well. of bear? Supposedly, before he was a teacher, he was a professional masked wrestler. He played the villain. Okay, but what, what kind of bear? Wrestler? He was playing the part of the heel? Huh. Very few people know about that. They don't recognize him from his wrestling days because he wore a mask back then. Hence the mask wrestler part. I think that wrestling experience bled into his teaching career at his old high school. They nicknamed him Katsuma Seriously? the Ogre. Are you sure about that? A mild mannered teacher like him? That being said, well, it seems like he expressed his regrets after the incident. And now, here at Seryu High, He's a very kind instructor who never stops grinning. It's like he's a different person. Hmm. Well then. Maybe it's all good. Nothing to complain about if he's put it all in the past. No. It's not that simple. What does she mean? I should ask her for more information. Issue with Abisu san So what's the problem? Is she well. Thing is, there. 
delinquent students to tease every sensei and they have no idea about his past unknown unknowingly playing with fire come think of it some students hit him with a ball prankster have gotten pretty if bad I lately might be on the verge of losing his temper again could be in danger and if he caused another incident there's no way he'd hey. be allowed to keep teaching that one pranksters no that's the thing, they don't believe you. I've already tried one of them multiple times. For a shrimpy, Ebby suit, have been a wrestler. It's very hard to imagine you know, how he looks now. He didn't try to conceal his past, so we can't express, <laughs> expect him to confirm it during his active days. I wonder what he did. Villain wrestler! Yes. That nice teacher? Mm hmm. His stage name was The Mask Bushiman. What was that? Bishaman. Bishamon? Apparently, he was unbeatable in the ring. He had the strength of a demon god, I heard. Okay, first you said a bear, now a demon god. Which is a demon bear, a demon god, a bear? What kind of bear? I need information answered, dammit. And his enemy's blood would get all over uh, Ebisu Sensei and make it look like he was wearing a red robe. Seriously? That's a bit much. I couldn't believe it either at first, but it's the truth. I also heard he would break the rules all the time. Uh, using metal objects, da -da -da, find them inside the ring every day, too. You and your fucking bonds! Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna need another nap. A truly artful detective can solve instances before they occur. Yes. yes. Uh, request. I see. Okay. Now that I understand the situation, what do you want me to do, Amasawa? It'd be great if you could put a stop link with students' pranks, even if it's just for today. <laughs> I'm not giving you 30,000, my dude. <laughs> in the meantime, I'll try to find something that will prove to them what Ebisu Sensei did in his past. Even a bunch of delinquents will believe it if there's proof. Mm. You sure about that? You'd be ruining his chances of keeping his past hidden. And I'd rather not do that, but this is too important to stand by and do nothing. Sometimes a detective has to expose some really sad gotcha. truths. Fair enough. So you... Just need me to guard Ebisu Sensei and stop the pranks. Please and thank you. Thank you so much for your help. Cool. All right. Should be in the faculty room. <laughs> Where is? Oh, I just passed the door. I'm dumb. <laughs> now I need to go up to the second. Lord, <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Jesus, I need to take a second nap. Am I starting to feel like an old man yet? I don't know. <laughs> but we still gonna play this game. <laughs> You wouldn't want to punscribe from you, son of a. <sighs> How dare you, sir? How dare? Also, how the fuck do I navigate in the school again? Oh, never mind. We here. Do -do 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 -do. Yo! What it do, sir? Please excuse me. Your work, Sensei. I mean, sorry, Ara Sensei. Right? What? Aren't you? Oh, I'm sorry. What what voice to give him? Uh, 
so many options. Um, uh, so many choices, so little time. Um, what? Aren't you an advisor of the, the Mystery Research Club? I don't know if he's trying to sound soft-spoken, but also very approachable. That's sort of like the only voice I could think of. I panicked! I'm Yagami, here to give you some extra muscle per Amasawa's request. Marshal, that's rather excessive. Wouldn't you rather help me give out... No. Well, um, would you rather help me deliver the good word of everyone's favorite quotes from the Bible? Starring everyone's favorite homeboy of Jimmy Chrysler? I'm pretty sure everyone would love to hear about the word of Jimmy Chrysler. Excuse me. Uh, Abby, I mean, Ara Sensei, focus! She told me that you're getting targeted by some delinquent students. Ah, you can just call me Abby Sensei, okay? It's a decent name. Much like how I have a decent bald patch on the top of my head. I like the fact that my head looks like this, you know. Yes, I, I know that, sir. Wanna feel my head? No, no, sir. But anyway, so Amasawa-san requested this, huh? What a sweet girl. I mean, I don't just She keeps running around trying to solve crimes like she's in a Scooby-Doo movie, but it's well appreciated. She has been worried about me exploding into a... Anger, angry rage soon. <laughs> but really, there's no need to worry. I deeply regret my past mistakes, and I turned over a new leaf a long time ago. I even changed my voice and everything. At this point in my life, my mind is never troubled. It's like a tranquil stream with nary a ripple. Well, it Sure looked like he was about to snap the last time I saw him. Um... Um, I don't mean to question your resolve, but... I'm the MRC's advisor, so I can't just flat out dismiss Amasawa's request. <laughs> once that girl has a mind made up, nobody can sway her. Must be a tough way to live. But I understand your situation, so I won't send you... Thanks. So I'll just stick around and stand guard for you until school's over. Ebisu, you're neither a dog nor a little kid, so I don't want to feel, pet, or rub your head. Are you about to start class? I am. Would you mind waiting in the hall while yep. I teach? Sure, I get it. It'd be a bit much to have you stand guard inside the classroom. You'll, stare, you'll scare the kids, after all. <laughs> Probably should have stopped the stream, but I'm actually enjoying these side missions too much. I'm teaching class 2-3. They're all good, serious, eager students. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> huh. I suppose. Hmm? It's those brats again! Isn't that the student who hit Ebisu Sensei with the ball earlier? He had the biggest damn sp I got a bad Excuse feeling me. about this. Hang on a second, Ebisu Sensei. Mm hmm? Prank on the teachers might be a stupid trap, maybe? Why don't I check it? See if there are any traps set around here. What the? Wait, that's a chalkboard eraser trap. Classic. All right, I'll let Abby Sue know. Excuse me, Sensei. I think someone set up a chalkboard chalkboard eraser trap. Tread carefully. <laughs> How nostalgic! I used to make those too back in the day. I can't let my guard down with these little rascals, can I? <laughs> But that's just that just means you've 
Got to be one step ahead of the pranksters. Huh? What? What the? A banana peel? Ah! Oh, my back. I just took my painkillers too. Ah! Don't laugh. You could have gotten a concussion. Nailed him. Crap. That chalkboard eraser was just a distraction. It's a sensei, are you alright? Crap. Oh no. Is he gonna snap? Sensei, calm down. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Huh? <laughs> you guys totally got me. That's the oldest trick in the book, you know. What era were you born in? This. Why are we laughing? This is not a funny situation. You could have killed your teacher. Hey, Sensei, you should have been a comedian. You've got me in stitches. What? Don't tell him that. If ABC Sensei became a comedian, who would teach class? We gotta have him for ourselves, damn it! Don't try to fuck it up for us, cherry student! Uh, okay, goddamn, Bubbly Student, you're kind of a. kind of terrifying. I will cut you in your sleep! Uh, uh. uh, uh. ABC Sensei, I, I want to talk to the police about so I will cut you! Alright, let's settle. Alright, let's, let's settle down. We have a lesson to start. Phew. That was a close call. But he turned it around. Man, I really didn't expect there to be a double trap. <laughs> this class sucks. Look at him up there. Grinning and laughing like an idiot. Pathetic. Those kids are taking class seriously. I'd rather a surgeon have me in stitches if I had to pick. I gotta fix myself up because my left arm is starting to go numb again. Ah. Woo, woo, woo. Alright, today is test day. You all ready for that? Ah! Uh, no! And I just finished gutting the cheery student! Please, help me, Sensei. She's lost her fucking mind. Please call an ambulance, please. Sorry. You forget. You forgot. You have only yourselves to blame, after all. Now I'm gonna ignore the fact that one of you kids is dying in my classroom. Here's your test. Okay, time to begin. You have tw- I only have five minutes to live. Hmm? Here we go! Go, 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 go! Excuse me. Oh, hold on, Sensei. Don't sit down just yet. Huh? What's the matter? Something's fishy. We do some quick recon. Oh, sure, sure. Go ahead. There might be some traps. Time for a closer look. These guys set up a trap solely as a distraction. Gotta be careful so they don't manage to make a fool out of me. You can die later. Finish your test first. <laughs> There's a chance the trap's still climbing us. If you look, ah, isn't this those whoopee cushions? Thinks to make the farting sounds. Okay, make, them, make a fake fart in front of the savage. I'm not letting that happen. Is everything okay, Yagami-san? Not no. yet. Suspicious. 
Why is it bulging? There's a whoopee What is with the double whoopee cushion? What the fuck kind of prank is this? Discovered two different traps. Surely we'll be all good now, right? Good now. Alright. Well then. Time for me to finally sit down. My legs hurt. Yeah. Freaking MRC. Damn it. That we totally had him. Why did my voice change? It's because I can't fucking remember voices that well unless people have them regurgitate back to me. Looks like everything stayed cool at school. Excuse me. Welcome back, Sensei. Thank you. Thank God, Yagami-san. Let's head over to the faculty room. Alright. Dance, dance till you're dead, 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 dead. Yagami san, do you think I look pathetic back there for continuing to smile no matter what the students did to me? And when that, that one student was wheeled away to the hospital during the test, I think the school was going to get sued for that too. No. No. That was admirable, except for the dying student part. The only thing is, kids that age just like messing with adults, you know? I think it's okay to be tougher on them. I understand that notion. I used to be a pretty strict teacher once. But these days, I'm reluctant to rule my students by fear or to make them obey me by throwing an angry fit. It's too easy and then get me to use my real voice. They're human beings, not animals. So why should I rely on such primitive notions to educate them? Hmm. I understand how you feel, but... And besides, anger really is a dangerous emotion for me. Yo, same. If I get more and more angry, my lifespan actually disintegrates. I am not kidding. That was p okay. We have Nocturne Monokuma come out. Yeah, that was pathetic. You should have had one student kill a classmate, then the rest figure out who did it, and then if they did wrong, the accused dies. But if they are right, the killer dies, and they all get an A on the test. Even a tiny spark can spread quickly and turn into a hellfire that consumes everything. I agree. When this dude's pissed, he's seriously dangerous. Back when I was a wrestler, I got a lot of praise for playing the villain characters like absolute demons. Even my wife and children were afraid of me when I was out of the role. It was getting terrifying, man. Wait, you're married? I was married, but then it's not even like the wrestling was the determining factor. It's the fact that we had to kind of move to different places. So I'm living the bachelor life here. She's living with the kids elsewhere, but I'm st we're still married. Basically, is the is the hold of some of the story, Yagami. You, you understand me, Yagami-san? I'm I'm still married, but I get to you know live my truth, as it were. I don't understand anything what you just said. That's fine, you'll understand someday. That, it was precisely that anger, or maybe it was karma, that caused all my past mistakes. I can't let such a tragedy happen again. Yeah, we, we know you can be a villain, Nocturne. You've been practicing recently. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. But you turned out fine, aside from being a... Being... You can't help aging, Noxer, and you can't help aging. And you are wanted. Stop it. That right person is out there somewhere. We have no idea where, though. And 
And that's why I made a vow to never let the anger control me for the rest of my life. That's a respectable goal, but from what I saw today, he really was on the verge of snapping. If he had to endure any more, things would have gotten truly bad. Speaking of which... Ah, oh, shit. Teenagers! Could the kids be planning something else? I hope they don't do anything that might really unleash the demon. Eh? Excuse ah! me. Is something wrong, Sensei? Well, uh, it, it's embarrassing, but, uh, I have to use the restroom a lot lately. I don't know, maybe it's my age. Maybe it's just nerves, but I've always had to use the restroom after class. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, Lord. Um, I might have to pass a kid in a stone at this rate. Please excuse me. But wait, hold on a second. If the kids have ever noticed that he always used the bathroom after class, they might have set up a trap there. I need to catch up to Ebisu Sensei. In before Ebisu turns to the Vegeta and plasters those two kids. Yo, that'd be a whole big fucking twist. I wish I saw coming. Eh, thank goodness. Oh, God. What? Before us. Did he leave before us? No, he was never with his friends, remember? This is the two dark-haired ones. This is uh, Renji from Bleach. See? Excuse me. Hey, Sensei, wait. Please. Huh? Why? Hmm. Those delinquent students might have set up some traps. Can I have a look inside first? Oh, that's fine, but please hurry. I really have to go. Well, all right, I'll, I'll do a super quick check for traps. Hey. Another race trap. No more of the same trap twice, bitch. That'll do it. All right, should I check for more traps? Uh, I'd check for more traps, honestly. Sometimes you gotta do that pee walk, man. Hey. Huh? Edge of this door plate peeling. Wait. This is paper! Something's pasted onto the door plate. It's the girl's restroom, not the boy's! They painted over the boy's door plate and plastered it on top of the girl's. Now that's an elaborate prank. Oh, please hurry, Yagami-san! They might have done this knowing that Ebisu-sensei always uses the restroom after class. He was in such a hurry he didn't notice the restroom was on the opposite side of the hall. These kids read his mind like a book. The girl's door plate is plastered on top of the boy's restroom door plate. Let's remove that one too. Yoink! That'll do it. Alright then, should I check for more traps? Has to be one more trap here. There has to be. As I'm just putting something on pause. 
Okay, there has to be another trap here somewhere. I can feel it. I know it's here. Okay, there's just the... Uh, I'm just double checking from other stuff. Uh, da, 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 first, look at... Okay, that's apparently it. That's, that's everything. Cool. Yagami-san, does everything look alright, please? If, I could, if you could pick up the pace in any way. Uh, yep. Just go. You're good to go. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yu Gi Oh jokes. Whew. A sweet feeling of relief. That was a close call. Excellent. We managed to get through the crisis without any issue. The damn freaking MRC. We spent oh, we spent all night coming up with this plan. Shit. Fuck. Hey. Here. Why don't you go ahead and throw this away? Bastard. Crap! It's Devil Fujita! You guys need to come with me to the student guidance room! Wait, stop us! No excuses! Damn it! This is an over MRC geeks! Sorry to keep you waiting. That's fine, I'm sorry, I kept you waiting, Sensei. All night, just sticking an eraser in the door and glue paper on the. Yeah, these these kids are not that smart. Hey man, I get it. You do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. Oh, where was I? I'm like my own personal end. I was, was watching something. Cause guys, your boy is still sleepy. Like it's not that I didn't sleep well. It's just that I'm, I'm feeling sympathy pains for somebody that's going through a lot. I'm not gonna say too too much because it's personal. It's just a. Uh, Anyway, Let, let's head back to the faculty room. Sensei, are you done teaching for the day? Yeah, no club activities today, so I'm gonna head on home. Probably, I'd, I don't know. It's been a weird, weird week. Phew. Man, should get through the day. Now I just have to wait for the proof Amasawa said she'd dig up. Hopefully, whatever she finds will convince the delinquents 
Every sensation shouldn't be messed with. Well then, before I head home, it's time for a little mm -hmm. fun. Uh, fun? Yeah, you ever played uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, no. Are you sure? It's kind of like Magic the Gathering, but with uh, less complicated rules. Uh, how is it less complicated? Well, you see, we have this whole stuff involving uh, dual link summons, which also coexists with pendulum summons and XYZ summons, which also culminates with synchro summons and fusions. Now, here's what gets complicated. Okay, I think I've heard enough. Now, are you sure? I'm only just starting with this whole entire modern day sect after it went through its sixth iteration for I, I said I'm alright. Alright, if you say so. Well, aside from that, every day before I leave, I water the flowers. I'm so proud of how, how beautiful they've become. Oh. Oh. You're in the botany? They soothe my mind. When I get to look at such pretty flowers, all the stress from the day just just disappears. I see. That sounds great, actually. You mind if I join you? <laughs> okay. Let's stop and smell the roses, shall we? Skilly, papa, daddle, boop, 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 boop. Oh. Oh, this is going to end tragically, so I'm just going to put this on autopilot. Excuse me. What is that? What the... They're pissing on the flowers? Oh god, I just had a SNL flashback. <laughs> Gotta make sure they're well watered. <laughs> yeah, it'll perk them up. <laughs> Why can't I ever have a consistent voice? Hey! You guys! What the hell do you think you're doing? Huh? Huh? You little punks! Do you have any idea how much in care Ebisu Sensei put into those flowers? Hey, aren't you the, the MRC advisor? You're annoying as all hell, man. Always get in our way. Get some water and rinse those off. For Ebisu Sensei sees. You giving us orders? We don't really do this whole listen to adults thing. We're doing him a favor. It's good fertilizer. Are you telling us to rinse it away? That's wasteful, man. We all drank so many caffeinated drinks in order to make sure we got him the best gold. Experience. Most people would pay money for that, especially on the fans of only. You know, only farmers. You screwed up. You screwed up, dude. Why you got to assume the worst about us? Maybe you're the one who needs to be rinsed off like any pest. Why don't you guys enlighten me? Why do you prank Ebisu Sensei so much? He's a great teacher who's all smiles. You guys have some sort of grudge against him? 
That smile is what pisses me off. Acting all friendly when he's furious inside. What a phony. He looks down on us. Thinking that a smile is all it takes to get us to obey him. Yeah. Like we're little kids or some shit. Makes me want to rip his fake smile right off his face. I see. So basically, Abby's just sensei to just be straight with you. Uh. It's the same reason a kid bullies a girl he likes. You guys bug him to see how he truly feels. This is the dumbest thing I have ever heard and I've seen a lot of stuff, but sad thing is, this is a real thing. Whatever. You want to see how it feels to get your ass kicked? Awesome. I've been thinking you guys need a good talking to. I'm not as nice as Abby S S Sensei. <laughs> You don't know who you're messing with, Mr. MRC. You're dead. Also, my friend in the background, he's running in place for no reason. I don't know why. Maybe because he's brain dead. We're never gonna find out. I state this as if I'm trying to tell people that they can clip this with me trying to ad-lib the shit out of this. Because this is the fucking stupidest glitch. I have seen today. Who brings a taser to a fucking street fight, bitch? And his legs gyrating and vibrating. Shit, shit! Who is this guy? Our weapons weren't any use. All right, now clean up the flower beds you pissed on. I said no. If every sensei sees this, I might set him off. We have to get get it looking nice quickly. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Watch that smell. But but why? <laughs> we fertilized it for you, Ebisu Sensei. Maybe by tomorrow they'll be nice and big. <sighs> Guys, shut up! Excuse me. We'll, we'll clean it. We'll clean up right away, Abby Sensei. You don't have to get all triggered and angry. You guys pee on just flowers. Crap. Taro. Hanako. Shigeru. Huh? Hey! You bastards! How dare you ruin my flowers! You fucking little words! Oh wait! Uh... You crossed the line! I will never forgive you for this! I'll smash your little heads together! Sensei, stop. Stop, please. Get hold of yourself! Get out of my way! Oh, great. Uh. Uh. Die, you little shits! 
Uh, what the hell? This is too hardcore. It's bounce. Uh, I'm in serious trouble now. He's in a complete rage. And man, that shrink. If you manage to hit one of them, it'll be a hospital trip. Woo boy! Sensei, remember, if you have another incident on your record, you'll never get hired to teach again. Out of my way, asshole! Uh, He's not gonna listen in his current state. <laughs> Luckily, since I've already fought Ebisu since in my own personal time. Come on, come on, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Come on, come on, come on, do it one more time, one more time, please. That's why, baby. <sighs> Seriously, he was insanely powerful. I had to give everything I had. I didn't. I didn't. Why lie? I didn't at all. <laughs> I didn't do shit. <laughs> D Damn. I had no idea. Ebisu was was that strong. Uh, so we mess with the flowers of a dude like this. Abby's the sensei. You all right? Uh, why? Uh, where am I? Who are you? What year is it? Uh, is, is the diet building being overrun by kids in masks saying that they're gonna ch take over this country? Well, what's going on? I'm very confused. Uh, n n no, Ebisu, that, that was fictional. Oh god, where am I? What's happening? Who are you? Oh god. Yagami-san, what happened to me? I'm just now getting my memory back. I, it's, it's so, so crazy. So dark. So very, very dark. Uh, you, uh, sort of lost yourself in anger. But fortunately, I stopped you before you hurt any students. 
you. You stopped me, Yagami-san? It was a close call. It wasn't. If I'm being honest, we're lying. Yagami-san! I finally found proof! Uh... But well, what happened here? Amasawa, sorry to say you're a little late. Um... So that's what happened. I'm sorry. I did my best. I couldn't stop all those pranks. No. It's okay. At least you prevented any violence towards the students. You know, aside from your very own against the students. Seems like to be a running gag for you to kind of beat up kids. Uh, yeah, you, you kids kind of suck. Uh, you're not wrong. Also, it turns out none of this was in vain. Look. Huh? huh? We're not worthy. We're so sorry. We, we ruined your beautiful flowers. Hey. Stand up straight and lift your heads. It's not that important. Your safety is my number one priority. I'm just glad you guys aren't hurt. That's a teacher right there. That, that is a teacher right there. R really? I'm sorry for scaring you guys. You're much more important to me than a couple of flowers. It'd be so sensitive. <laughs> Looks like he's won their hearts over. Thanks to you, I don't have to reveal Ebisu Sensei's secret past. That's great now to hear. That you it. By the way, Yagami san, after all this, what comes to mind when you think of Ebisu the God? The God? That's random. Mm. Uh, he's one of the seven gods of fortune, right? So I guess I think of a prosperous god who's always yes. smiling. Sure, but did you know he was the god of business and fishing? And that after the Middle Ages, people formed an image of him as the god of good fortune? Well... If you go further back in time, they believe Ebisu was a vicious, fearsome god. Ebisu, the ancient deity, was regarded the same as the Brashomanten and Fudo Mayo under Shinto Buddhist Syncretism. 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 Jesus fucking. Can I English for once? Please. Oh. Wow. I didn't know that. At some point, Ebisu, the fearsome god, became popular as the smiling god of good fortune. All I want to do is English correctly once, but I keep failing. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Sounds a lot like Ebisu Sensei's past, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Well, hopefully he keeps it up and becomes a popular teacher amongst his students, just like a god. Yes. I'm sure he will. Ebisu Sensei, you're seriously something else. I didn't know you were so strong. If anyone ever tries to pull a prank on you again, we'll take care of it. Yeah, I know it's not one I see every day, but I'm like, can I just get this one word right? Please. Also, for anyone that's probably watching, just like, V, you're going way over two hours. What's going on? Bruh, I don't know. I just kind of want to wrap up by going to Yokohama 99 and then ending the stream, which means you guys get an extra hour for the hour I couldn't give you yesterday. Because fuck my life. Uh, 
Uh, please don't. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> uh... Why, Nocturne, and why? <laughs> I now know how Matt Mercer feels posting Critical Role, where if you guys do not know, I started actually getting further into my whole D&D &D bag where I'm going to be posting some one-shots starting this summer, one of which is a one-shot where it's a non-combat D&D &D thing where it, a bunch of characters and a Saw-inspired trap set in generic city Emmy, I wasn't inviting you to the whole thing. It's just a lot of people I know are just like, I have too much on my plate to not turn something I do into a D&D &D stream at some point. So a few people I know were just like, why don't you uh, DM a full-blown campaign, which I've been working on in the background every now and again. Like, I don't take D&D &D too seriously, like how most do. I like to have fun. I'm very loosey-goosey with the rules from time to time. But I will follow the official handbook when I need to. But I also wanted to do some one-shots. Yeah, I did kick that dude while he was down. Also, I could get to this. Dog. Hmm? What's up with this dog? Hey, what's wrong? You lose your owner? Huh? Well, Yagamishi. It appears you finally met the infamous detective dog of Ijichio. Hmm? Sorry, the, the what? Word's been going around town of an odd dog who apparently wanders the streets looking for cases. Whenever he catches the scent of a mystery or a crisis, he calls out to nearby people alerting them of a nearby incident. <laughs> he actually stops by here r rather often. It's almost as if he knows this is a detective agency. Hmm. Seriously? Yes! The past few months now... The past few months now... He seems to take his self-appointed position quite seriously. Oh god, my arm! He kind of sounds like I'm a sow. By the way... Why is he wandering around town, though? He has a collar, so he's obviously not just a sh he's So he's obviously not just a stray. Sure. Ah, therein lies the mystery of this dog. It's very well trained and the perfect specimen of health. No one's seen him rooting around in garbage or anything. So, based on this information, it's clear that this is someone... That he has someone taking care of him. I see. The mystery facing dogs... The mystery chasing dog's a bigger mystery himself, huh? Oh my god, you're so cute! I want you. You're such an adorable sheep. 
Inu, I want to give you a hug. <gasps> and he's got his own leash and everything. Something wrong, boy? Wait. Oh, he's picked up the scent of a mystery. I believe he wants you to follow him, Yagamishi. Huh. Right. Um. Uh, am, am I supposed to hold the leash? <laughs> he just has proper leash manners is all. I guess if he really is that smart, I can see why he's walking around freely. What? What is it? I'm gonna take you for a walk? I want this puppy! I want him! <laughs> Yagamishi, I believe he's requesting you to partner up with him. <laughs> Are you willing to accept the whole entire case? I already have my hands full of the MRC. I have to take care of this detective dog too. What is going on? He's a hefty boy. Okay, okay. I'll take the case. Where's the trouble, boy? Who's a good boy? He's a great boy. And no, he's not just having you on the track for some food. Hey. He is doing his two steps. Doing great. This way, huh? I'd like a corgi. Doing great. Okay, puppers, lead the way. Oh, God. what the? Oh, Jesus, what the? Glitch dog. It's a glitch dog. Oh, my God, it's a glitch dog. This way, huh? This is where you're leading me? This is where you're leading me? Huh, boy? Mm. Mm. This is an issue. You don't know how to get in touch with her? Uh. No. She just said to wait here. And she'd be back for me soon. Oh, dear. This is... This is not good. Well, I could take you to that whole ominous bakery across the way. Excuse me. Is there some sort of trouble? Oh, uh, and you are... Takayuki Yagami, a detective from Kamurocho. Oh, what a cute doggy. Is it a husky? It's a Shiba Inu. I can't tell breeds. I'm not making fun of my partner. A lot of people mistake Shiba Inus and huskies for some reason. I think it's the coating. Like, sometimes it's the f throws people off with Shiba Inus and Huskies. I know the difference because of the eyes. Listen. We're all painted. <laughs> um... Is something the matter here? Well, he's been waiting in front of the facility for a while now, because his mother told him to wait here. What? Facility? Yes. 
Our orphanage whose main facility is upstairs. I see. And you said he was left here. The mother didn't seem to be returning. Okay. Yes, and um, he actually had this envelope went with him. When I first came out to ask if anything was wrong, here I had it shoved up my ass. The uh, this, wait, some kind of letter and what? Funny. Just, just read it, okay? It says, "Please take care of Shusuki Chan." Hmm. Ah, uh, I see. Please take care of Shu, of Sushuki. John, he's a very good boy. He loves banana ice cream. He also loves Pokemon. And he thinks that Digimon is the bargain bin dumpster fire of everyone's favorite Pokemon. He clearly has no taste. Aside from banana ice cream. He means the world to me. But I'm still gonna abandon his bitch ass here. Mostly because I have nothing better to do. Please make sure that he's fed at least once a day. If you can do it twice, that would be golden. Three times, you would be doing a lot better than the school system. Anyway, goodbye. At the very least, I was hoping to learn why he's here, being dropped off without any f hint of knowing the truth. That's no way to treat a person. Hey, uh, Shusuki-chan, right? How long's your mom been gone? Like, um, an hour maybe? I don't know. I can't tell time. I'm just a child. Only thing I know is how to floss and... How to not get picked up by creepers on the interwebs. If that's true, there's a slight chance she could still be okay. nearby. Yagami san, was it? You're a detective, aren't you? Could you possibly find his mother? I really would like to, but. Say, did your mom mention anything at all about where she might be going? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Last time she was here for five minutes, and after that she just kind of bitched and moaned and bitched and moaned and was saying something about I'm gonna pretty much set fire to everything because Dangerous Encounters Season 3 got delayed because of contract disputes and all this, that, and the third thing. I kind of lost interest and started watching a bunch of stuff on uh, HBO Max like Infinity Train, Static Shock, and all other fine programming that you can find, but... Th we're not sponsored by HBO Max. I, I need to stop. I need to stop trying to push for stuff. Okay. How about her name? What's her name? Mika. Shibuya Mikan. Not much I can do with just that, though. Must have a death note. <laughs> hmm? What is it, boy? You interested in the letter, boy? <laughs> oh, you think you can trace her by the scent of the envelope? The envelope was up a lady's ass. <laughs> well, if the dog's as much of a detective as Suku made him sound out, sound out to be. I suppose I should let him take a crack at it. All right, track this scent for me, will you? All right, let's go. You got something? Let's go, boy. Doing great. You got something? When two heavy dog owners in the chat are telling you to trust the dog, you trust the dog. You got something? This way, huh? Come on, Mikan chan Time to get in. Well, I know I signed up for this. Suzuki-chan, was it? You're gonna make that doll face sick, right? I 
No, Emmy, you are the second dog owner. Former do What happened to Wally? What happened to Wally? Now I'm concerned. And you promise you'll send him his share, right? <laughs> oh no! Poor Wally. I mean, at least he passed away knowing he was loved. Cute little bean. Uh oh, ooh, ooh. Well, at least Wally knew he was loved in his in his final weeks. Of course we will, Mikan Chan. Once you pay back what you owe, that is. And no funny business on your end either. I'm glad that Trixie's healthy and yeah, being there with him is all for the best. Cause he was a good boy. Wally was a good boy. And I'm gonna miss him. Is that her boy? Huh? Hey, what's your problem? Go sniff out a bone somewhere else. Shoot! Excuse me. You're Shusuki kun's mom, right? Mikan Shibuya? Uso. Now, how do you know that? I came looking for you after this dog led me to your son. I didn't expect to run into you, but now I see what's going on. A dog led you? Are you just... are you just a dog walker that solves crime? No, but that would be an interesting TV show someday. What? What? My guess is, you owed someone enough money that this scumbag's trying to drag you out to work some unsavory job for the rest of your life. A brothel, a brothel, the, a brothel, or something, probably. I tripped over my own fucking words. What? I mean... <sighs> Happens all the time in Kamurocho, where I work. Ah. Ew! What? fuck is your deal, asshole? I don't know. Why are you cross-eyed, sir? Seriously, why are you cross-eyed? If you get in the way of any business, don't be surprised when you end up dead. Hey. I already heard you say she owes you. How much does she owe you by now? What interest are you charging? She borrowed 500 grand, with interest that's 9 mil. You plan on covering it or something? God, no. no. Okay, see, that's an exorbitant rate. That's an exorbitant rate. Exorbitant rate. God, I'm trying to read, but I'm also half asleep, y'all. That's an exorbitant rate. I know I was looking at a loan shark from the first moment I saw you. I think I'll be leaving with Mekon now. Do I need to knock you out first or no? Fuck you, man. We got a first. Know what? I'm gonna ice you and your mutt. Bring it on, bitch. I didn't mean to kick somebody's ass this is half fucking time. Bitch, stay down.
Uh, fuck. Hey. So, you want to talk about how treating people's property is illegal? What? What? I'm a fully licensed lawyer, and I'd be happy to take her case pro bono. Why don't we sit down for a little chat? Ugh. Shit. Screw this. I'm going back to extorting a bunch of bootleg copies of movies across the ocean. Like Turkish Batman and Spider-Man. Is that it? How'd it get so bad, Mikan-san? Huh? Shisuke-kun's still waiting for you at the orphanage. He thought you were gonna come back for him. Yeah, I kind of lied about that. <laughs> they... They said if I didn't go with that man, they'd... They'd sell Suzuki off to someone. So... That's why... In other words... It made you panic enough to agree to do what they said? <laughs> yes, I... I feel so No way. That's the sort of thing loan sharks will do. To figure out how to pressure you enough that you break. Next thing you know, they own you outright. Excuse me. I know a good lawyer in Kamurocho who'd be happy to help you. Should I reach out to her for you? Please, thank you. Mom, you're back. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. That's a good boy. Good job, boy. Good Jiba Inu. Hmm. But what are you doing, really? You got the whole town talking about you now. Don't you have a home? Where's your home? Jeez, boy. I wish you could tell me. Huh? Yeah, did it. Rampo, the old mystery author. Rampo is the name of your dog. He's a big mystery lover too. We have to go solve this. Oh my God! I forgot about this. It's Amasawa's. Yeah, this is Amasawa's dog. I for. Son of. Bitch. Uh, I should have known. So, you're Amasawa's dog, huh? Seriously? Just had to break away from the family and make a good name for yourself, huh? <sighs> hmm. Can't say I'm surprised, though. They say pets and their owners grow more and more alike over the years, but this is... Whatever, I should get in touch with, uh, Amasawa. So sorry you had to deal with Ronpo. Hey! Ronpo! You listen! No wandering off on your own! How many times have I told you? You don't have a persona. You can't fight people. You can't solve crimes with just being a do- uh, You'll never behave, will you? Nope. Uh, he's such a good boy to me, aren't you? Totally was not a diva like my dog. Hair <laughs> flips and storms off. <laughs> God damn it, not <laughs> Yagami son. Well, he does seem rather fond of you. Ronpo's usually more weary of strangers. Maybe he sees you more as a professional partner, Yagami son? Uh, really? You think so? Yes. Indeed, I do. In fact, I've been raising him. As a proper invest, invest, investigatory partner ever since he was a puppy. Huh? Huh? 
What do you mean by that? Well, um, when I was little, I read a book about a detective girl whose dog helped her crack a case. I that book, I started training Ron Poe to help me solve mysteries. What's this gonna be do? We're coming after you. We're gonna solve that mystery. See you, Scooby Doo. The trolley's back to you. What's this Scooby do? Don't look back. You may find another clue. Scooby Snacks will be waiting here for you. What's this Scooby do? Coming after you. We're gonna solve that mystery. See you, Scooby Doo. Trellies back to you, what's this gonna be do? Na 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 na, na 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 na, na 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 what's this gonna be do? Sorry, 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 just had that weird moment about someone trying to have their own dog solving mysteries, I just had a Scooby Doo moment. And totally not because I've been working on um a brand new Scooby-Doo property that hit YouTube a couple of weeks ago and has ooh, been consuming my life for days. So you're why he's always sniffing out trouble. Yes. Yeah, it seems he's gotten quite hooked on it. Whenever he smells an instant brewing, he's off and running. We try to keep him inside the house, but... He's just too good at slipping out. Does that mean... No. Uh, is, is that okay? Like, will the animal shelter... Like, with the animal shelters and police? No, it very much is not. Ron Poe's been caught several times by both groups. And I have to be the one who picks him up and apologize e each and every time. He's becoming quite a familiar face at the shelter, unfortunately. But he doesn't bite and even tries to help people out. They're a lot more lenient with him than they're supposed to be. <laughs> you two really are alike, huh? What? Hey. You know, you really did train him well. I think he'd be able to help me out again if uh, we run across each other in town. Well, um, I, I suppose so. You could always try calling for him at least. If he's around and feels like helping. You might get lucky. You're living your best life, aren't you, boy? Yeah. There goes Ronpo. Ah! Ronpo, no! Sorry, sorry Yagami-san. I have to go. Ronpo, get back here! <laughs> Good luck with the case. Maybe I should try calling for Ronpo the next time I need his nose for an investigation. Although, there's no guarantee he'll come running. We have Detective Dog. Okay, now we can finally end the day by going to the agency. Also, before anyone asks, yes, pocket space is always a funny thing to talk about in gaming, because it's basically just like, I have so many objects that I store them all in my ass. Yep, in this game we get a pet. Who helps us solve crimes, baby? Okay, can the microphone work now? Microphone. Cool, you're working, I assume. What is going on? Having a party? Welcome back. Care for a drink, Yagami-san? Heads up. Now make yourself at home. Not that you haven't already. Who, me? Why, whatever do you mean? Kuan is fine. He just swung by to have a chat with you, man. Not that I mind hanging out over beers and shogi. Kaito's a gentleman and a scholar. I like your style. What do you want with me? Check it out, Yagami-san. You're only here to get to the bottom of that Hiro Mikushiba kid's murder, right? 
That's got to be the reason the Yokohama Liomang attacked you, isn't it? All I'm saying is that you've got to cut me in, man. Thanks, but I've got enough help. So some hotshot detective strolls into town and tries to leave the local guy out in the cold? <laughs> no offense, but that's not gonna fly. You gonna play your turn? Just finish your game and go home already. Wouldn't you benefit from someone who knows the scene? You know, I can get you anywhere in a jean show above or below ground. Aren't you expensive? I'll give you a first-time customer price. I'm not about to sit here and let some outsider swoop in and take all the credit alone. And that means I guess I'm gonna chill here until you give me the nod. It's Tsukumo and Tsukiura's place as far as I'm concerned. Not even my call to make. I welcome having more company. The more the merrier. That'll be the agency motto. I don't really care. Such a nice office. I'm gonna love it here. Uh, Yagamishi, guess what? The internet picked up on the Ahara link to Mikoshiba. The trending sentiment is that he killed him in an act of vengeance for his son. They've already figured that part out? See for yourself. Here, check it out. Okay, guys. We have done a lot in three and a half hours as I'm tying up some trash. Okay. Sit right there. Now, I would love to keep going, guys, but the fuck was this? But the fun has to stop for the day. The day. However, tomorrow, we're going to something either involving a brand new game I haven't tried before, or, it's just or, I'll be playing a retro game I haven't played in so long. We're just going to do it as a first impression. We're not going to have it be a regular thing on the stream stuff until after. Everything that we've cleared out is cleared out. That is a promise. It's just first impressions where if you guys like it, we're going to keep playing it on the stream when we get to that point. If you don't like it, I won't stream it for you guys. I'll still play it myself because I own it, but I just won't blah 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 blah. But uh with all that said and done, um Thank you, Sega. I will see you guys tomorrow for our surprise stream. Which will probably also make up for the days that I couldn't stream before. Where we're going to day stream on that point and so forth and so on. So you guys have a great day, afternoon, evening. As I will try to do a hosty host thing for uh, Tiffany Witcher. For no other reason than just because I want to support Tiff. So yeah, you guys be good people, stay proud people, and uh, don't do anything I would do.